When We Wake, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose. Artwork by Navelu Arts on Instagram. You can find a link to the artist's social media in the description box. Go give them the love, the hearts, the likes that they deserve for this piece and all of their other artwork. Now then, if you're new to this channel, this is where I, Mira, hi, narrate Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction in an audiobook format so you can listen to it on the go, cleaning your room, at work, whatever is applicable and best suits your needs, whether you just like listening or you're dyslexic or what have you. Now then, if you've made it this far, don't forget to not only subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications, but also leave a like and a comment for the YouTube algorithm. If you don't know what to comment, put Mary Shat Cuddles. Now then, please enjoy When We Wake. There were a lot of things Cat Noir learned in the last week, but this one thing he wasn't quite ready to study. His father was Hawk Moth. Sure, Hawk Moth was old news at this point. He'd long since been outdone with other tainted miraculous holders, but he couldn't wrap his head around his father being their original arch nemesis. Paris's original supervillain, the original super terrorist. So he went to go talk it out with the only person he could. He went to talk to Ladybug. Except, well, she didn't know he found out her identity this week. She had two relationships with him. One is Marinette, and one is Ladybug. Marinette had no idea, as far as he knew, their interactions made up a square. But even so, he wanted to see her. He didn't care if it meant telling her he knew who she was and risking all of this. He wanted to see her. He needed to see her. A craving so precise and deep it would debilitate him to ignore it. Cat? He tumbled into her bedroom with anything but grace, but did it matter? He was near desperate for a warm embrace in the face of his love. My lady, he rasped, not bothering to appear elegant or suave. Marinette's face knit together, her eyebrows coming together as she scrunched her nose up. Do you have me confused for someone else? She asked crossing her arms. Please, I'll be. Not tonight. Her face softened as she looked into his eyes, and he returned the look with a gaze of his own. It's the middle of the night. Marinette shook her head. It's two in the morning. I can't believe you. She began. What's wrong? Cat tore his gaze away choosing to study the rug on the floor instead. Can I crash here for a bit? He knew how bad it sounded, asking to stay with a girl overnight, but he didn't have much pride left. It wore away with the stress of his discoveries. What? Marinette's reaction was as expected. My father is Hawk Moth. She took a breath meeting his eyes with bewilderment in her own. You don't mean... Please. He couldn't bring himself to step toward her, holding himself against the now-spoken news instead. Not tonight. Not now. Cat. Can I just... He didn't know what he wanted. Can I just crash here for the night? She gave him a wry smile. Of course. Really? He felt his ears twitch up. He hadn't thought through his questions, but was surprised at her answer. Yes, really? Marinette crossed her arms. Come on. He made his way to the chase, plopping on it to find his feet dangled off the end by half a meter. Ugh, well... 
He might end up rolling onto the floor if they fell asleep. No big deal. This was better than sleeping in a room by himself. What are you doing? He opened his eyes, heart beating against him with panic, to see her towering over him, arms still crossed. My lady? She flinched, obviously not expecting the nickname a second time. Take the bed, you giant tomcat. The bed? Yes, the bed, she repeated. Come on. But you can fit on this comfortably. Come on. He followed Marinette up the ladder, watching her strip off the blanket and pat the sheet. He obeyed, swallowing, and found himself getting tucked into bed like he was four years old and loved with a tenderness he hadn't touched in a long time. Marinette? He asked as she reached over him to steal a pillow for herself. It smelled like her. The sheets, the blanket, everything. Yes? Can you... Uh... He didn't know the right way to ask this, if there even was one. Can you... Uh... Hold my hand? The room was dark, and he couldn't see her face but found her answer as her fingers slipped in between his. Shh, she said. It's time to sleep. Yeah, I know. Would you like me here until you do? How could she read his mind? Yeah, he admitted, voice nearly cracking. Cat felt her brush his bangs to the side, humming something soft that filled his heart. This was it. This was the right choice for the evening. Good night, cat, she whispered as his breathing grew steady. Aren't you going to ask? He mumbled, his facial muscles overcome with sleep. About? My father. Her smile sigh echoed in the space between them. Hawk Daddy problems can wait, Kitty. There it was. The first admittance that she was Ladybug on her end. It shouldn't be so powerful, but he closed his eyes to it, content with the moment. Hawk Daddy. <laughs> That's a new one. She pressed a kiss to his forehead. Your only job right now is to sleep. You can worry about it after you've rested, when we wake. When we wake, he repeated, not entirely sure if he was dreaming already. The entire night felt like a dream, so maybe it was. Yes, when we wake. Cat Noir reached out and pulled Marinette to him finally filling the void that needed to be held together when she wrapped her arms around him, his head settled on her chest. Oh, this was a crying moment. Silently, Cat Noir cried into his partner as she held him, rubbing his back in the silence that echoed back his stifled sounds, until there was nothing left to echo. And finally, finally, Cat fell asleep. His world changed in more ways than he was able to count in the middle of the night. He'd never forget the moment, however blurry it may be. Ah, yes. The world would be different when he woke, but for now, it was warm and smelled like marinette. Thank you so much for listening. You can find other Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction on this channel. Once again, thank you to Novello Arts. Their art is just wonderful. You can find a link to them in the description box. If you've made it this far, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment. If you don't know what to comment, put smells like marinette. I will catch you in the next video. Bye!